It is a small, it's a short poem, that's the thing I should stress, but, but uh, it's something I wrote about Rebecca when she was very young, uh, which I think, yeah, plays a part today. It's called The Art of Bonsai. Sunshine Sunday and mid-September present a framework of form and function in which Rebecca and me range around the woods at the top of the lane delve in for a seasonal harvest of blackberries and natural bonsai. Those woods are just a short walk from here. We have collected a beech and a sycamore before the first fruit bursts in her mouth, plucked with the hungry fingers of a five-year-old gourmet. She recalls the same scent and seeping red juice from Norway two months earlier where I walked through woods every day but never found a wildling, a stunted tiny spruce or fir asserting its scale down value in the roots of the parent tree or between impedimentary stones. We heard the whispering of trolls though. Now she stands above me, growing impatient as I sweat and gouge at the alluvial bank that has hosted a lonely cascading oak. It is more than a wildling. It is a potensi to be carried home, fed and nurtured with hands of slow art and tenderness. Rebecca is taller than most of her friends. But now, of course, she is loved by all of her friends and also by both of our families. But most importantly, she is clearly loved by her husband, Liam. Today, as we gather, we pray for God's special blessing on both of you as you get married and uh, as we all gather and, and uh, witness an amazing moment because we, we witness your love and commitment uh, for each other here today. And the Bible, of course, speaks an awful lot about love and commitment. Um, and we heard that from First John, uh, 1 John chapter 4 there. God is love and those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. So we're thankful for that. It's gonna sound quite cliche this time. I'm not, I'm not very good at talking about my feelings, if I'm quite honest, as, as you will probably know. Um, just from the, from the first time that, that we met, you know, I'm gonna to need to get this right now, about 12 years ago, um, at university and I can remember seeing you across that room in Oceana <laughs> in Oceana right on a student night um, I remember exactly what dress you were wearing I remember exactly how you looked that night and, and I sort of looked at myself and I thought I've got plimsolls on <laughs> <laughs> When you walk down the aisle today, and, and actually it, it weren't like what I thought it was going to be, as you saw, it stood there at the top, and you turn around and, and you look back, I just couldn't see you for about, about, six, about six lines of people. Um, so I'll be like this at the top and and, du and, and ducking and diving. But but now nah, when when I saw you, I just I didn't know how I was going to react. Um, I don't tend to get I'm not a really emotional person, um, but actually when I when I when I managed to see you. Um, I just couldn't stop smiling and, and, I, and I've, I've told that to, to people today that it, it, my face was hurting right and my cheeks were shaking and you don't need my cheeks shaking um, just I don't know why <laughs> but they were um, and it just took me back to just it, it was genuinely like the first time I saw you and it was, it was just a, my, the, the feeling that I felt was just amazing um, when I saw you walking on there and, and, and that's just how it is um, and, and genuinely I am the luckiest bloke alive um, to actually have you in my corner 
Um, so actually I'd like to toast to my wife, if, if that's all right with you guys. Um, cheers. have come together here today in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Liam and Rebecca, to ask his blessing on them and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a guest at a wedding in Cana of Galilee and through his Holy Spirit he is with us here now. The Bible sets before us marriage as, as part of God's creation and a holy mystery in which a, a man and a woman become one flesh. It's God's purpose that as husband and wife give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Uh, Liam, will you take Rebecca to be your wife? Will you love her? Uh, comfort her and, and honour and care for her and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live I will Rebecca will you take Liam to be your husband will you love him, comfort him uh, honour and care for him and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live I will And say after me, I Liam. I Liam. Take you Rebecca. Take you Rebecca. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer and poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And then you lose hands. Yeah, that's great. And then you rejoin them, Rebecca. Thank you. And just, yeah, that's lovely. And then, okay, it's your turn now. Okay, I, Rebecca. I, Rebecca. Take you, Liam. Take you, Liam. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. With my body I honour you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Thank you. That was lovely. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. With my body I honour you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And then if you turn towards me. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Rebecca and Liam have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the, the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. Therefore, in the name of God, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. We'll give them a clap. <laughs> What 
what God has joined together, uh, let no one put asunder. speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels but do not have love I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal and if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and I have all faith as to remove mountains but do not have love I am nothing if I give away all of my possessions and if I hand over my body so that I may boast but do not have love I gain nothing Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things and endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For well, now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these. Bex, you just look unbelievable, and uh, I got I feel so proud to stand here and, and just to see you and be sort of a part of it, and it, it's amazing. But yeah, but um, yeah, I'm happy with that. And if that's not my first toast that we're here celebrating these two today, I think nothing's nothing's worth it. So I'd like to just raise up my toast to to, to be here. You don't have to stand; just just get a drink down you. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me the most important is the thing with we're here. Like I think there was a I think there was a moment where everyone thought, oh my goodness, what is what is gonna happen here? Like the world just changed and to be fair, it's probably most the person who's most sort of happy that we're here is this man here, of course. <laughs> Sometimes you meet two people that are so perfect for each other. You can't envisage one about the other, and I think that goes for these two now. Uh, I can't imagine them two about each other, and I can't imagine them two not in my life. Uh, so they sort of complement each other so well, and I'm proud to have them both, both so much in my close group circle of friends. And I'm going to give a toast to that, and thanks for everyone again. I have but thanks for everyone's coming here today, and I just want us all to have a great time and have a few drinks and enjoy yourself. <laughs>